My name is Donia Silgalis, and I am the Product Marketing Manager responsible for these modules at Pepper and Fuchs. Let's start by reviewing the agenda for today's webinar. The webinar has been broken down into the following list of topics. First, why has Pepper and Fuchs decided to introduce this new product line to its product offering? What are some notable product features to be aware of? What is a typical architecture and what accessories are available? And finally, what available literature has been created? As the fourth industrial revolution unfolds, industrial Ethernet and wireless growth have accelerated the need for industrial devices to get connected. Ethernet communication has established itself as the basis for Internet of Things and Industry 4.0. For quite some time, Pepper and Fuchs has been active in releasing factory automation products that support Ethernet IP. Some of the Ethernet IP products are noted on this slide. Industry 4.0 means networking of all components, machines, and plants with the goal to minimize information and media gaps, optimize processes, and save valuable resources. Today, although devices support Ethernet IP, device data must first pass through a PLC controller before information can be collected in the ERP system. Those not familiar with the acronym, ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, which is a business process management software that allows an organization to use a system of integrated applications to manage the business and automate many back office functions. The future vision is for device data that was previously processed on the control level to now get transferred to cloud-based storage systems with internet connection. Pepper and Fuchs is excited to be a lead supplier of technology enabling sensor signals quickly and easily into the cloud. The following slide shows the three discrete I.O. Ethernet blocks released in this product launch. The first module supports 16 digital inputs. The other two modules support 8 inputs and 8 outputs. Note the third module is unique in that it has a control function. We will talk more about this capability in the following slides. In looking ahead, we will finally have an IO Link Master available with the Ethernet IO blocks. The following slide can serve as a useful decoder ring, which can help you break down the part number and understand the available features associated to the module. Before we take a closer look at the new module offering, we need to be sure we can answer some key questions on Ethernet. Let's start with what is an IP address. An IP address is nothing more than an identifier for any computer or device connected to a TCP IP network. Next, let's discuss what is an IPv4 address. As shown on the slide, an IPv4 address consists of four decimal numbers. These numbers range from 0 to 255 separated by dots. Each part is called an octet consisting of 8 bits. So here again, the value 172 is noted by 8 bits in a binary format, and this is considered an octet. Finally, how do IP addresses get assigned on a TCP IP network? There are two ways to assign IP address. The first is static addressing, and the next is dynamic addressing. With static addressing, typically a network administrator assigns the IP address manually. With dynamic addressing, the IP addresses are assigned from a network server, typically a boot P server or a DHCP server. Now, let's spend some time highlighting the notable features available with these Ethernet I.O. blocks. First, the LEDs, which are available on each module, provide continuous status information and enable channel-specific diagnostics. This increases productivity by allowing faults to be detected and fixed more efficiently. Additional key features include rotary switches 
and L-coded power connectors. These will be discussed in more detail on the following slide. So let's discuss the first notable feature, the L-coded power connector. The L-coded M12 connector stands out by its higher current rating of up to 16 amps. This provides almost 40% more power than typical power connectors. Currently, there's only one competitive supplier that has the ability to support an L-coded power connector. Key advantages of the L-coded connectors include reducing the number of power cables, allowing higher peak loads to be met, and enabling more modules to be daisy chained together as shown on the slide. Our next notable feature is the multi-protocol capability of the module. Any module can be configured for Profinet, Ethernet IP, and EtherCAT, which reduces the number of components needed to be kept in inventory, and more importantly, supports standardization of plant design. Each module supports an integrated web server. The integrated web server allows access to the device directly from a web browser, making it possible to view important information and change network parameters such as an IP address or a subnet mask. Diagnostic parameters can also be monitored directly from the module through a web interface or communicated back to the PLC. Note on the slide the different pages available with the integrated web server. If there is a need to integrate any of these Ethernet I.O. blocks into a PLC, corresponding configuration files are available. As with any Ethernet IP device, configuration files such as EDS, GSD, ESI are available on the Pepperon Fuchs website under the Software tab of the corresponding device. Next, I would like to highlight the three notable PLC configurable parameters associated to these modules. Surveillance Timeout, Failsafe Function, and Quick Connect. Quick Connect is available with all three modules. However, the Surveillance Timeout and the Failsafe Function are not available with the 16 Digital Input Module. Let's spend a little more time on the Quick Connect feature. Most important with this feature is the ability to reduce the startup time of the module. Be sure to familiarize yourself also with the supported and unsupported requirements of this feature. When considering applications that maybe have linear arrangements, star topologies, or static IP addresses, Quick Connect can be taken advantage of. However, if boot P is configured or DHCP is configured for the module, these will not be supported with Quick Connect. Now let's spend some time on discussing the decentralized control function of the modules. First thing to note is that only one of the modules released supports the decentralized control function noted on the slide. Essentially, this provides the ability to program the module directly using an LD micro software. The software is freeware and available for download at the link provided on the slide. With localized control and decentralized operations, modules are no longer required to reside in the main control panel. Modules can be programmed directly with ladder logic and all that is transmitted upstream to the PLC is the diagnostic data. This leads to more efficient communication. As far as further details of what the LD Micro software supports, it essentially is a basic ladder code functionality. Such operations as controlling inputs and outputs on the module, basic timer counter functionality, and basic arithmetic operation are available with this software capability. A user manual can be made available on request. Let's take a closer look at a typical network architecture possible using the Ethernet I.O. blocks. First thing to note on the slide is the M12 L-coded power connecting table, A. This is used to power up the module. For daisy chaining power, 
An M12 to M12 L coded power cable is also available and noted as B on the diagram. As with other Ethernet cables, Pepperell and Fuchs offers Ethernet cables for module switch connectivity or module to module connectivity. These are noted as cables C and D on the diagram. There's an important point I want to mention on sensor actuator connectivity. As noted on the slide, pin 5 of the module must be left available for earth ground. Thus, as you're making your selection with the devices to the module, be sure pin 5 is not being used for other needs. As far as looking at the Ethernet I.O. block, we see 8 ports available. However, we have the ability to connect 16 devices to a single module. How is this even possible? Well, Pepperell and Fuchs offers a variety of Y connection cables suitable to allow for higher quantity devices to be connected. A product selection document, again, is available to list all the available accessories to make this possible. There are a number of ways to connect with us here at Pepperell and Fuchs. These include tech support, Ask the Expert, our website, Twitter, blogs, and our YouTube channel. I encourage each of you to keep in touch on any questions or concerns. Finally, here is my personal contact information so that we can stay in touch. Have a great day and thanks again for attending the webinar.